It has been way too long since I've last spoken to you guys. What is going on YouTube? It is the big K, the big O, the big BC360. It is Cobb360 here. And firstly, to explain why I haven't been uploading in a while, uh, I've got my mum's family, I've got pretty much uh, family friends or pretty much family that have come here and like they're staying here. So for me to record, I need to find like the perfect time when pretty much no one's home or just my brother are home because like... That's when I can put in the oomph, the emphasis, the beastliness, the the magic into these YouTube videos. So without that, I don't want to upload subpar content, subpar commentary. That's not what I'm about. I'm about delivering the real deal, boys, the real deal. So while I've got the time, while they're at dinner, uh, I should have gone with them. But man, this, uh, this, ah, uh, regardless, let's get straight to it. So first, the Direct X 12. DX12 is supposed to be unveiled this year, March 20, 2014, at GDC. Now, I completely forgot what GDC stands for, so I'm heavily sorry for that. But I know um, it is the it's a developers conference, and so we're here. We're going to see AMD, Intel, Nvidia, and Qualcomm. Oh yeah, Qualcomm. They make this uh, phone CPUs. And they're all coming together to, along with Microsoft, obviously, to unveil. DX12. Now, apparently, this is. I'm going to read this quote. For nearly 20 years, DirectX has been the platform used by game developers to create the fastest, most visually impressive games on the planet. However, you asked us to do more. You asked us to bring you even closer to the metal and to do so on an unparalleled assortment of hardware. You also asked us for better tools so that you can squeeze every last shop of performance out of your PC, tablet, phone, and console. Come learn of our plans that we're about to deliver. That's good. So clearly, Mantle. Mantle must have been a big push for this. I'm sure DirectX 12 was obviously coming anyway. This, this, let's be honest here. But I think Mantle, the AMD's whole goal with Mantle was to push low-level API, was to get more power out of your GPU. With DirectX 12, with that high-level uh, overhead, if you get what I mean, uh, developers couldn't get close to the hardware, they couldn't get close to the GPU. That's why consoles, consoles have a very low, low, extremely low level API. That's why you can see something like an Xbox 360 or a PS3 running a game like BF4. Sure, it's not at optimal settings at all and it's cut down, but just to have the game running on such old hardware at playable frame rates is because of that low level API. And that was what Mantle was trying to do. Uh, in reality, what Mantle did was essentially remove the CPU bottleneck. That's more of what uh, Mantle tried to do. So if you have like a really crappy CPU and you have a decent GPU, that uh, overhead, you know, the kind of bottleneck the CPU will be giving that GPU will be not eliminated, but it'll be brought down a lot. So I'm, I'm sidetracking here. Getting back to DirectX 12. In uh, Microsoft, sorry, I was about to say Intel. Microsoft is just, they're just improving it. DirectX DirectX 12, sorry, needs to come out. It's epic that they are unveiling it. It's good to see AMD, Nvidia, Intel, and Qualcomm Snapdragon all uh, going alongside uh, Microsoft with this. I mean, everyone needs DirectX 12. At the moment, Mantle is not going to become like the biggest thing. It just isn't. It's it's getting starting to get adoption, but at the moment, there's still the Nvidia cards. There's a whole other market, and let's not forget, Nvidia has more market share in the GPU market. So anyway, DirectX 12 is something that works great on both platforms, AMD and Nvidia. It benefits everyone. It benefits our console, benefits phone, benefits PC, benefits everyone. So. Any kind of improvement that we see in DirectX is an improvement for all. So anyway guys, comment down below what you think of DirectX 12. And if you truly think that we're going to see something revolutionary. Because a lot of people tend to say that Microsoft just keeps adding stuff and stuff and stuff to DirectX. Where they're not making it better, they're making it worse. Now, uh... A lot of people, for, for example, DirectX 11.2, I believe, either 11.1 or 11.2 required you have Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, and people were pissed off. So some people are predicting that, oh, maybe with this, you need Windows 8.2 or Windows 9, blah, 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 blah. Who knows? We don't know yet. Let's just wait till March 20. That's 13 days from now, and we'll see what DirectX... 
<laughs> oh, I'm saying DirectX like an idiot. <laughs> what DirectX 12 will bring to the damn table. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to record as much videos as I can right now. So I'll see you guys in a few days. Or not a few days. The next day, the day after, blah blah blah.